I'll wear my sunglasses. Cheers. <laughs> I got my cup. Where your cup at? Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. <clears throat> I'm trying this new oat milk creamer. That shit fire. Usually I do almond milk, but they didn't have any. And I was like, mm, I don't know. And then this lady was shopping next to me in the store and she goes, oh, I love that one. And I was like, are you sure it don't make your coffee taste like a granola bar? And she's like, no, that one's really good. And it's only such and such calories. I was like, oh, okay. I'll try the oat milk. That shit fire. God. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. You know, I don't I don't eat dairy anymore. Let's see what the hell going on. <clears throat> what up, Star Seeds? I'm gonna go ahead and do another one for you while I'm on break. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to The Edge. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. We're just gonna read and see what comes out. Thank you so much for joining me at The Edge. You have mice. You have lily. You have lily and you have mice. Hmm. Okay. You have the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. Clarifying the lily card, and it kind of looks like a lily too. You also have the full moon on the on the artwork. Someone could have tried to manifest something during the full moon, and if they're wondering why they're not getting it, it's because your divine relatives or whoever you pray to. They're telling you, you don't need that. So stop asking us for it. Okay, this is a specific message. I don't know. To forget what I think I need. The number 30 may be significant or 3, 23 deriving to 5. My energy flows where my intention goes. Clarifying the mice. So if you're in this mice energy, if your intention is to try to expose something, you're going to get that energy back. I'm also getting whatever your intention is for someone else is probably blocking what you're trying to manifest. Your guy's on some... Oh, but I, I see how you're handling this situation or these gifts that we already gave you and you're not being appreciative of them because you're using them in a very negative or facetious way. Sarcastic for those who don't know what that means. And now your guys are, are not bringing in or manifesting whatever this is that you wanted for yourself because of your intentions for another person. That's why I always tell people, you don't have to be all love and light. But if someone isn't attacking you, someone is just on their own respective journey, they're positive, they're not doing anything negative to you whatsoever, and you just want to hate on this person, you will end up blocking your own manifestations. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all for protecting yourself, but does it sound logical to protect yourself from someone who isn't attacking you? No. In that way, you're manifesting your own karma for being in a low vibration. Ooh, the veil has been lifted here. The veil has been lifted. Someone is realizing now the error in their ways. Mm-hmm. Someone may be snitching on this person or the veil. Someone is going to come to the realization really soon here that the reason why their manifestations are blocked is because of their intention to sabotage someone else. 
<laughs> now I know how protected you are. I feel stupid. Oh. Stupid is a really strong word, but hey, if you insist, 